fastest in practice. Indeed, only three quarters of a second separated the top five. Freddie Spencer uh, on the Honda was in second place. Mario Radden... Less than 30 seconds to go now then to the start of this 250cc race, the South African Grand Prix, the opening round of this year's World Championship. 28 laps ahead of the field. The traffic lights are on red. They're to green. Everybody's pushing. Who's going to fire at first? It's Spencer and Lovado and Tony Meng. But a terrible start for Mario Rademeyer. A bad start for Mario Rademeyer. And the leaders hurting into Crowthorn for the first time. And it looks as though it's Freddie Spencer back in second or third place. Well, a bad start for Mario Rademeyer. The charge through Crowthorn. It's Spencer, in fact, now up into the lead. Spencer taken the lead on the exit from Crowthorn. Lovado and Mang in second and third places. Pounding Spencer all the way on the run down towards Sunset now. Through Yuxkai down towards Sunset. Spencer in the lead. They're coming out of formation, looking for the gaps on the inside. And Italian Fausto Ricci took third place from Mang. It's Ricci now who tries that strange outside line, breaking late as Lovada goes inside Spencer. And the riders bobbing and weaving. Five men battling for the lead up there in the lead. And we'll try and pick out where Mario Rademeyer is. He had a terrible start, and that's a big disappointment. But it's Spencer in the lead. Spencer, who leads the charge through the S's at the first time. And to me, that looked like Stefan Mertens up into third place, as Lovado once more takes the lead. Carlos Lovado going back ahead of Spencer. And if it is Stefan Mertens, and it does look like him, that's a tremendous ride by the young Belgian. An excellent ride. Spencer, though, back in front, he's past Lovado again, and Mang, Tony Mang, on the very fast, on the, the red bike there, he's through to third place ahead of Stefan Mertens, it's the end of the first lap, and Rademeyer's already up into tenth place, and it's Mang who's made the charge to the front, and Lovado looks for the inside line as well, but can't do it. Martin Wimmer now made his way up into fifth spot, so that's another charge from the West German on his Yamaha, as Mang leads down the drop, and then through the rise to the Yupske sweep. Mang then out in front. Spencer in second place. Lovado in third spot. And the Honda of Mang bobbing and weaving there. These men riding these motorcycles to the limit. Well, Spencer was second fastest, but when I spoke to Martin Wimmer, the West German, before the race, he told me he clocked himself, or his team had clocked, uh, Spencer much, much quicker than the organisers had, quick enough to put him on pole position, and if Spencer can repeat those sort of lap times, he'll win convincingly. Well, he's not putting in those lap times, and he's being pressured now by Carlos Lovato and Tony Mang. And we can see that Mario Radomay is now up into eighth place behind the Perno Jean-Francois Balde and um, Martin Wimmer on the Yamaha. There's Mario at the top of the picture. And Mang pulls in behind Spencer, gets in the slipstream. There's number three, Lovado. 19 is Spencer. Five, Tony Mang. Number three, Carlos Lovado. And certainly uh, the Honda of Tony Mang looks a very, very quick motorcycle. He doesn't go for the inside line this time. He goes around the outside, moves towards the better racing line for Crowthorn, and once again regains the lead. And uh, good news is that Alan Carter on the Donington 100 uh, on the, he's up into 12th place. So the young British boy also overcoming his rather poor start. Meng in the lead, bike number five. Freddie Spencer is in second place. Tony Meng is in third spot. Meng leads now from Spencer and Lovado. Two Hondas leading the Yamaha, two works machines leading the works Yamaha of Lovado. Then comes the private Yamaha of Mertens, but I think he's just been passed by the works Honda of Ritchie. It's Mertens and Ritchie, the Belgian and Italian, having a dust up. But the battle we're looking at in picture is Spencer in the sandwich between Tony Mang and Carlos Lovado, two very experienced 250cc men. Tony Mang, who made the move up to the 500cc class, found things weren't quite to his liking. He went to run back to the 250cc series last year. Spencer looks over his shoulder. In fourth place, it is Ricky. You can see bike number 55. There's number 10. That's uh, Jean-Francois Balde. Uh, 
there and it's 27 Mario Rademeyer he's really got the bit between his teeth Mario Rademeyer and Spencer trying to force Mack there onto the dirt as they go past the pit and down towards Crowthorn again and Mang is a very hard man he won't let Spencer get away with that sort of thing and he certainly won't be intimidated Spencer still leads Mang on bike number five is in second place and Carlos Lovado number three being dropped back just a fraction at the moment there's the battle for the lead Spencer and Mang and Spencer using every inch of the road Mang is there in second place and it's very much a battle of riders here virtually identical works Hondas in front number 19 Spencer number five Mang Spencer in front, Mang pushed back to second spot through the S's. Hard left, hard right, then the rest of the pack steaming through behind them. And it was Wimmer and, Ra and Radermeyer there as we watched Spencer in the lead. So this three-man group pulling away just a little bit, but tremendous battle going on behind. Spencer looks over his shoulder, so does Mang, so does Lovato, and they can see this five-man battle behind with Martin Wimmer, number seven, and fourth place ahead of Mario Rademeyer, number 27. And Rademeyer looking really good. This boy wants to do so well here. He's grimly determined to do well, and he's pulled out of the slipstream of Martin Wimmer. He's got a wheel ahead of Wimmer. Five laps completed. Martin Wimmer on the inside, bike number seven, and Rademeyer just goes across the front of him, leans across the front wheel of Martin Wimmer, and Mario Rademeyer is up into fourth place. And uh, more news of the British in this race as the fans urge on Mario Rademeyer. Alan Carter is 15th, Gary Knoll 19th, and Neil McKenzie 20th. As this little group, you could cover it with a blanket. It's an old racing cliche, but it really is true today. Mario Rademeyer pulls out of the slip screen. He passes Carlos Lovato, and I don't think Lovato is going to be very amused about that, Peter. No, he isn't, but he did exactly what he suggested. He used his Lovato's toe to get a lot closer to Mang. Lovato looks to the inside line, but has to back off because Radmeyer has gone through. Mario Radmeyer is through into second place. A superb manoeuvre, exactly the same as he did before. And Tony Mang, I'm sure, is now suddenly aware that he's got a very, very serious rival for this second spot. And that's a great piece of race car from Radamay. You see he used the Yamaha to pull himself up behind the Honda, using both bikes to get past them, and his machine is slower than both. Incredible piece of riding. There's the board. Minus four seconds. That's the gap between himself and Freddie Spencer. 16, that tells him how many laps to go. And the gap appears to be getting closer. 3.5 seconds, say the timekeepers. Well, uh, I'm not sure uh, <laughs> that I'd want to argue with them, but you can perhaps see visibly that Rademeyer is closing. Well, we saw Spencer's bike twitching early on, Peter. Do you think tyre problems are coming into it? Well, it's difficult to say. Spencer, of course, has concentrated on the 500, and there Mang had a bit of a slide, and he's on the Dunlop tyres. So perhaps everybody's riding their tyres, Michelin and Dunlop, right to the limit. I don't think Spencer's got a particular tyre problem, otherwise we would have seen Rademeyer catch him already. I think he's just trying to pace himself and we will be watching his pit board very closely to see how number 27 here, Mario Rademeyer, is getting closer. And, and he's the gap already is closer. Yeah. 3.21 seconds, it was 3.5 before. And of course, not just the, 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 the fact that you're getting closer, but of course the psychological boost as you can see that gap shrinking. And Rademeyer can see Spencer ahead of him. And as he sees him ahead of him, he'll try harder and harder and harder. There's Rademeyer going through the S's. There is Mang and Lovato, five and three, battling away for third place. And uh, if uh, Tony Mang really thought he was going to be world champion this year, he's uh, going to have to rethink the campaign a little bit because third in the opening round, if things stay as they are, not really the result he'd got in mind, and Carlos Lovato won't be happy with fourth place either. Now, just watching Spencer accelerate onto the uh, start and finish straight here, it looked to me as though he's really sliding the back end, as though he may not have a lot of life left in that tyre. But he certainly doesn't seem to have any problem maintaining enough pace to keep himself ahead of Rademeyer. And uh, Mang is right with Mario Rademeyer, and Rademeyer's got to quicken the pace. He's been caught napping, whether the signals weren't there, whether Mang suddenly put in a quick spurt, but whatever the reason, 
We're in a situation where Mario Radmeyer is being caught by Tony Mang. And Mang has actually caught Radmeyer. He pulls right across the track, so Radmeyer can't get his slipstream and dives fast on top speed. And Spencer just picking his way through very, very carefully. In normal circumstances, he'd be a lot more ruthless, I think, going past these guys. But he's got a comfortable margin. He takes yet another man, but has to ease up pulled back into single file as it comes up towards Leacock. The blue flag is way to show these men that they're in the way, they're in the way of a quicker man. Rademeyer behind Tony Mang. This is the final lap of the South African Grand Prix, the 250cc race. It's now or never for Rademeyer. If he's going to do it, 6.3 seconds the gap between the leader, Freddie Spencer, and Tony Mang, number five there in your picture, who's second, number 27, and Mario Rademeyer is in third place. Of course, Rademeyer knows Carl Army so well, he knows where all the bumps are, and when it comes to choosing a different line to get past the third enders, we watch Spencer, number 19, in the lead. Spencer in front. Less than a mile to go now, round this Carl Army circuit to start the season in fine style with a victory in this 250cc race through the S's now almost within sight of the checkered flag but still Leocop to go up the hill now then he's got the charge along the long straight with just the kink between him and the finishing line Tremendous performance by Freddie Spencer. An excellent debut ride for the Rothman Thunder Machine. The checkered flag goes out. Spencer is the winner, and Freddie has won. Who is it going to be in second place? There's a big charge. It looks like Mang. It is Mang, yes. Mang did Mang. it. Mario Radmeyer has to settle for third place, but what a great ride that was. Freddie Spencer the winner. Tony Mang takes second place. Mario Radmeyer finishes third.